So I'm working on planning for the content that I'm going to be sharing regarding being an entrepreneur. And I'm doing a little bit of research. I want to know more of what you all don't want to hear about. So let me share this with you. Um, there was a writing prompt on WordPress that I just had to answer. The question was, what makes you nervous? Honest truth, entrepreneurship makes me very nervous. But you know what? The reason that I'm continuing to do it is because just as any failure or mistakes are all mine as an entrepreneur, so is any success that I have. That success is all mine. It's all mine. Um, the other thing that I love about being an entrepreneur is that constant challenges that I face, you know, facing my fears, it breeds growth. And I know for sure that I've been experiencing an accelerated amount of growth, both personally and professionally. And that's pretty satisfying too. Now, in terms of the growth part, I'm constantly learning and growing. I mean, the work that I do, it's very mentally challenging and I'm a big nerd. So being a nerd, a naturally curious person, this is really good for me mentally. And at the age, the big age that I'm at, <laughs> I'm not 55 yet, but I'm in my 50s. Um, having things that challenge me mentally are very important to me. Probably just as important as having cha challenging physical exercise. Um, and of course, and I've probably shared this before, and this is a no brainer, having more flexibility in my time. If I was a new person in a corporate job, I wouldn't have the type of flexibility with my time that I have as an entrepreneur. I'm not saying that my time is always free, of course not, of course not, but I have more flexibility. I have much more flexibility, and plus I'm working from my own home office, so there's that too, <laughs> of course. Not all employers are letting people work from home. There was, a, you know, during the pandemic, that's what people had to do, but now a lot of these places are calling people to come back to the office. And whatever reasons they have for that, who knows? But a lot of people are now losing that flexibility. They're having to, man, if they don't want to lose their jobs, they're having to go back to the offices, either on a flexible schedule or full time. Mm -mm. <laughs> and also, I love being a supportive mentor slash coach to other agents that work in the same, um, with the same client that I work with. Um, this was actually one of my goals before I started this work. And so it's very satisfying that I've been able to achieve that particular goal of becoming a, a mentor slash coach and to be able to watch them transform from being unsure of themselves and ignorant, not knowing a lot of the information that they've had to learn, seeing them transform and grow and succeed in their businesses, that's extremely satisfying for me. That's probably the most satisfying out of all those things that, that I've mentioned to you. So anyway, I shared more about this on my blog at leadlikeaqueen.com. And I'm just in research mode so that when I start the podcast, the Plant Your Seeds of Transformation podcast, when I start that over for season five, I wanna make sure I'm bringing real value I want to make sure that I know what you want. Now, there's a possibility people may tell me what they want. What? This is uh, April. And then come August, September, October, when I first start publishing new content for season five, some of those people might have completely changed their, <laughs> their whole perspective, their whole minds, and, and not even really want that information anymore. But... That doesn't mean I can't do my research, so I'm still doing my research. There's a survey at leadlikeaqueen.com if you look for the article 
where um, the title of the article is, What Makes Me Nervous, Entrepreneurship is Hard. So uh, take a look and read the full article. I just shared a little bit of it with you and fill out that survey. I would love to know what you all would like to see for season five of the podcast. And the podcast is always in tandem with with articles. The podcast has its own website. So um, the content is not all audio visual. Some of it is things that you'll be able to read. And then of course I have a mentorship program which goes beyond just what we talk about on the podcast to bring more depth, provide you with some support you know, and help you if you if you decide to do the journaling prompts that I provide. Um, yeah, so this content will not just live in the podcast only. There's more to this than just that. But I'm just trying to make sure that I know where your thoughts are at right now, at least. Like I said, I know it may you may change your mind in six months, but um, that's a start. It helps me to know how I can be of service to you more as I share about remote work and the things that are challenges, opportunities for people like me who do remote work from home. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching or listening. Bye.